Hey everyone, nice to see you again. Welcome back to part two where we're going to convert this saltwater tank into a freshwater tank. So we left the last video, I'll leave a link up here somewhere, um, where we had got rid of all the fish in here and moved them down into the fish room and set up a tank down there for them. So that's stage one complete. Now we need to get this cleaned out because it's absolutely manky. So today's job, which I'm not really looking forward to, is giving this a proper scrub down and getting all the substrate out, getting all the filter media out, getting all the rock which is stored up there, stored away, and basically getting this ready to fill with fresh water. So if you didn't know, the reason we're doing this is because I want to get my Pahaka Puffer, which currently lives in the fish room. I want to get him up here so I can see him more often because quite frankly he's my favourite fish at the moment. So that's why we're going to go ahead and clean all this rubbish up. Right, so the glass is about as clean as it's going to get. I've got my trusty black hose here. It's time to drain the water. And I'm not looking forward to that because my options are either buckets, never going to happen, or out that window. And I don't know if my hose is long enough to get out of that window. So we'll dangle it out. I might have to jerry rig a few extra rosies together. Rosies? Hosies even and we'll get as much water emptied out of this as possible. Mm. That's the window there. There's the hose coming down and we've got a little drain there so it does just about reach. So I think we'll be okay with that one. So let's get sucking. Tip number one, do this in summertime or wear a jumper. It's freezing. So, with water out and the light on white rather than blue, you can see how much cleaning is left to do. So even though I thought I got that all cleaned, you can see there's crud everywhere. And I can do a final sweep as well for any snails and things that might be buried in the stand. So that's the next job. Right, I think we might be just about there. So I've given it a, another great scrub, obviously all the water's out. I've got all the sand out into this bucket here. Well, I've got two of these buckets actually. My next thing is this weir box at the back here. It isn't, I've taken off all the silicon. I'm gonna reseal that back in uh, to make sure that's right. I've checked all the other seals all around in all the corners and they're all fine. So I'm not actually gonna reseal the entire aquarium. Um, but yeah, I think we're just about there. So my plan is go and get some silicon because I seem to have run out. Get the rest of this water out, get that resealed and leave it to sit for a bit. And then I'm going to get some substrate in and fill it with some fresh water. And um, I'll leave the silicon to cure for a bit obviously before that. Alright, what well, seems like a month later it's finally cleaned out. I've removed the silicone around both sides. I've had it filled and emptied about four or five times to try and get all the gunk out. Everything's had a wipe down, everything's good to go. So I'm going to reseal both sides of this internal sump. And then we're done. Well, not done, but you know what I mean. Right, I've done the ceiling, uh, only needed to do the internal weir thing. As always, make sure the sealant that you use is uh, suitable for potable water or aquarium safe. Sometimes they say it on it, sometimes they don't. I'm using Dow Corning 781. 
and basically don't use anything that isn't pure silicone that's got any mold inhibitors or any treatments in it because um, that will eventually affect the water quality but a million people must have told you that already that's all I can do for the, today I just need to leave this overnight to cure properly and then we can get on with filling it and deciding what we want to do with substrate and planting and all that kind of stuff so come back tomorrow right the silicone is dry it's all good to go so the next thing we need to do is get some sand in there and then some water okay i had big plans for this to do some fancy editing and get everything going but i've changed my mind so many times that it's just not going to work i started off with clay sand on top of some planting substrate but i didn't have anywhere near enough planting substrate and i just want to get it right so i've taken it all out again and in taking it out, I burst one of the seams for the new silicon that I put in for the, the internal sump. So I filled it back up again and then it wasn't filtering or it wasn't clearing the water. So then I emptied it again, resealed it again, filled it up again and it was finally working. And I've gone for a sand and gravel mix. So I've got a few pots and a few large stones that I've placed strategically, not really. Um, and I've kind of got it's gravel up at this side and sand for the rest of it because I know the puffer likes to bury himself in the sand so I've left plenty of sandy areas that you can do that um, it's just normal it's called river sand from a local fish store um, I felt the clay sand at the depth that I wanted to get it at would just be too deep and clay sand tends to compact a bit too much when you make it too deep so I've gone with this river sand which is a little bit coarser and doesn't do that fine compaction so as you can see now, it's got a bacterial bloom now. So I'm just waiting for that to clear. I've thrown in a few guppies just to keep the filter media ticking over and make sure everything's tip top and then we can get the puffer in. But I think we'll leave that there for today's video and then we'll get the puffer in and have a, a bit of a look at the puffer and a bit of a species profile if you like in the next video hopefully. If you've got any questions, by all means let me know in the comments below if you want to know anything about switching tanks over if you want to know anything about puffers if you want to know anything about anything uh, give us a shout and i'll see you next time as always hit that subscribe button give me a like if you can it really helps out and i'll see you later bye bye